Saturday, January 11th, 2020. So glad you're with us. I'm Susan Hendricks. We'll also have surveillance video. It is dramatic. It shows the moment an out of control van plows right through a store. The injury. Hadass Gold, thank you. Now, Harry and Megan say they will speak to handpicked journalists, but as Hadass said, not the reporting pool that has been so critical of the couple. Harry has been outspoken on the importance of mental health. He's even working on a mental health series for Apple TV. And this. And the witness list is extensive. It in includes Charlize Theron. Selma Hay Hayek is on that list. There's also going to be women in court to support the women accusing Harvey Weinstein. I spoke to actresses Mira Sorovino, Jessica Barth, and Lily Bernard, survivors who met because of the Me Too movement three years ago. New surveillance footage shows the moment an out of control van plows right through a store. Several people were knocked down, including a mom that was holding her baby. This two of the NBA's best going head to head last night. Andy, it was LeBron versus Luca. We were yep. joking. I said I'm out of the Lupa because I know LeBron, <laughs> not Luca. Thanks for laughing. Yeah, and if you haven't been watching the NBA the last few years, you, you probably don't know, but Luca Doncic Amazing. is one of the up and coming stars we have in this game yep. for the Tigers. It's gonna be a lot of people. It's gonna be pretty rowdy there if LSU is able to LSU's pull it like, off. look, they're not gonna go to class anyway, so right. I mean, canceling. it's the it's the right thing. It's to a do. good reason to. <laughs> Andy, thank you. All right. So whether you are gearing up, Andy, as we know, for the big game Monday or the NFL playoffs, as we were talking about, we want you to join in on the tailgating. It's part of who the Green Bay Packers are. Come yeah. together, shovel the snow, watch the game. <laughs> if you sign up to play for the Packers, Susan, yeah. you are well aware that you are likely going to have to play through some cold weather. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoveling and football. Yeah, and you can bet the Ravens fans flocking to the stadium in tons of purple and black with just uh, as much seafood to match. Yummy. You could dip it in, stir it around when you're done using it. It was a record-breaking holiday shopping season. The totals are in. I know your bills are too. According to holiday season, come and gone, spending all that money, maybe one for me, two for them. Now what do you do that we're into a new year and those bills are coming in and the stress is increasing? I mean, this is why I wrote the 21-day vacation. So your first tip, it seems easier said than done, to pay off your debt. What if you're saying to yourself, I just can't. It depends on how much money that person makes. But you say no matter what, whether you make 50000 or 500000 there are chunks of money you should set aside. Put chunks instead of putting chunks on every credit card. Get pay rid of one. You've got to get something down. in the win column to start the what year. What about those who believe, look, if I cancel a credit card, my score will go down? Well, Is they're right. I'm not saying cancel the credit card to do it. plastic surgery. surgery. I'm saying, yeah, just get rid of it. All right, good advice there. What about grocery shopping? It's so easy now on your phone to just click, click, click away. Number one thing is go to the grocery store last thing. Right? Yeah, well, do definitely don't go hungry. You will spend more if you do that. When I'm starving, I'm telling you, I'll take this, I'll take this. <laughs> so the new book I'm excited for, the 21-day budget. Nominations are going to be announced on Monday. Celebrity host Dana Blair is back with me. I'm here to get the dish on who we could hear from when the nominations come out and who will get snubbed. I did see Hustlers. I would see anything right. that Jennifer Lopez is in. But do you think she will get a nomination? I do think she will get a nomination. You do. And just her, I loved how she did that, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. for an Oscar, we shall see. We shall definitely um, see. An excellent actor, Joaquin Phoenix in The Joker. It was a dark movie. Yes. He, he nailed it. He was amazing. He's complete. Heath Ledger, how much they became the role and kind right. of dove in and he did and if anyone deserves it he does totally. he won the golden globe and it could be it could be intimidating yeah I lion king yeah and it looks so real just mm -hmm. the animation here phenomenal the detail in the animals and, and it looks so real oh, definitely in the time you really have to appreciate the quality yeah, they of, deserve the, it. of the project totally. Dana and i like it they deserve yeah. it good to see you we'll talk <laughs> after see you the also. oscar definitely. nominations see you then well kim k is in here to discuss yeah. Kim went to Kroger no. for a while to get all that stuff. <laughs> right, right, the tomatoes. We have a list of so tortillas. I th I don't have in the fridge though. See, this is interesting. Yeah, syrup. I do have in the fridge. What about really? peanut butter? It stays out for me. Peanut butter's out. Yeah, peanut butter's out. I, I did put tomatoes in the butter. fridge. You know, I got in that, trouble. You're not supposed, you're not to, do that, supposed to do I that. You're not supposed to do that. Drum roll, please. What about butter? The big one there. Butter in the fridge. People leave it out. Do you believe huh. that? And we're saying. It tastes like butter or the real stuff? The real stuff people actually leave out. Learned Can't so do that, here. it'll melt. <laughs> That's all we got.
does it today for Weekend Express. See you back here tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Up next, Vengeance Killer Coworker.